In this video, we'll be introducing you to surds and irrational numbers. So before we begin, there's some terminology I'd like to go through. So a surd is a square root whose exact value cannot be found. We have a thing called rational numbers, and this is any number that can be written in the form of a over b. It doesn't have to be a fraction. For example, 2, 3, 6, they're all rational numbers as well. An irrational number is a number such as pi, or root 2 that cannot be express, expressed as a fraction. And then we have real numbers, which is a number that is either rational or irrational and whose value can be graphed on a number line. We'll now look at some of the notes. So a third is a square root, a cube root or any type of root whose exact decimal or fractional value cannot be found. So as a decimal, its di digits run endlessly without repeating. If you put a third into a calculator, it'll come up with something, point, da 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 da, da and keep going until the calculator runs out of space. So root 7 is read as the square root of 7, or simply root 7, and this is the third. We have things called rational numbers, such as fractions, terminating or reoccurring decimals, percentages, and these can all be expressed in the form A over B, where A and B are integers. Now, thirds are irrational numbers because they cannot be expressed in this form. So we'll look at some examples of rational numbers. So on your screen, we have a thing called integers, which is your whole numbers. 4, 2, negative 3, 6. We then have terminating decimals, such as 0 0.5, 3 0 0.7, 0.16. These are decimals that end. And then we have reoccurring decimals, where there is a pattern to the decimals, such as 0 0.6 repeater, which is 0 0.6666666. We have 0 0.83, and we have 0 0.36, where the 36 is repeated. Now, these are all rational numbers. Irrational numbers can be seen on your screen now. These are things such as thirds, root 5, 8, root 6, negative root 2, and transcendental numbers such as pi, cos 38, and 0.0097542 dot 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 because it keeps going on. Now, thirds can be represented on a number line because remember, rational and irrational numbers are real numbers and any real number can be registered or represented by putting a point on a number line. So on your screen on the top, we have some thirds, uh, fractions, percentages, uh, we have the symbol pi. Now these, remember, are all real numbers. And on the bottom is your integers. But remember, they can all be represented on the same number line. Now we'll answer our question. So we need to select the thirds from the following. Now the easiest way to do this is to just look in your calculator and put root 14. Now if I put root 14 in my calculator, let's do this in red. I get the answer 3.74165738 and then my calculator stops. So this is a third because there's no pattern to the decimals and it's not terminating. It does keep going on. So I'm going to circle my thirds. So I know that is a third. Now if I want to do the next one, root 25, some of you might already know the answer to this. This is 5. So that is not a third because it gives a whole integer value. All right, same with root 16. Now root two, it gives a bunch of decimals. So it is a third. 624, that is also a third. Root 99 is also a third. Root 36 equals six, so it is not a third. And then root one equals one, so it is also not a third. Now, is each number rational or irrational? Now, remember, rational values are fractions, percentages, um, terminating decimals, reoccurring decimals, and your irrational values are things such as pi, usually represented by symbols, or thirds. So, we're going to put an R next to our rationals and an I next to the irrationals. So, 5.6 repeater is a repeating fraction, so it is rational. 1 over 2 is represented as a fraction, so it is also rational. 
Now, if you put root 8 into your calculator, you get 2.82842712525. Therefore, you would say that that is a surd and surds are irrational. We have 3 over 11. It's a fraction, so it is rational. 12% is a percentage, so it is also rational. Root 16 is 4, so it is rational. Root 10 is irrational. And pi, because it is a symbol, is also irrational. So to end this video, we'll do a quick recap. Remember, a third is a square root, cube root, or any type of root whose exact decimal or fractional value can't be found, cannot be found. So as a decimal, when you put in the calculator, its digits run endlessly without repeating. We also have rational numbers. Remember, these are fractions, terminating or reoccurring decimals, percentages, and they're all expressed in the form A, form a over B, where A and B are integers. We then have thirds, which come under the category of irrational numbers because they cannot be expressed in that form.